Hey everybody, it's Zach from Berwick Keepers, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the GTS 3M from Speed Keep Shop. So, uh, this has already been opened because I, uh, accidentally screwed up. So, yeah, this is an unboxing first impressions, all of that. So, here's the cube. And there's also an invoice there. Ooh, let me check the rest of the bag real quick. Yeah, so here's the box. This is, um, the... Moyu design for all their magnetic boxes. I saw this on the GTS 2M, the black and gold. I really like it. I'm gonna make sure this is the correct invoice. Yep. All right. And then we also got that business card. Ooh, I collect those. All right. So, um, oof, trying to hurry this up. Basically, while I started or tried to record this, my battery on my camera died before I can even start, so, yeah, <sighs> haven't unboxed the cube in quite a while, since like April, so. definitely the uh, newest release so far, and, oh, here's the best part already, magnetic box, everybody, <laughs> alright, so, here it is. Here's the cube. Ah. So here it is in its little display box. Um, just like everybody else who's opened this already, let's check out the accessories before the cube itself. So here's the accessories box, properly labeled. So inside, you get some extra magnets. That's... See, it's nice that they put that in there, but that kind of worries me. So, yeah. Um, Moyu Mini Screwdriver, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna save that for a bit later. Uh, the, are these called the Dual Adjustment Tools, I think? Yeah, for making sure all of your tensions are lined up. i seen these on Speed Cube Shop before, but they were discontinued, if I'm not mistaken, so... Not really sure what's going on there. Um, you got your Moyu trading cards and stuff. Uh, instructions on how you can do the cubes, like, or the box, that stuff. How to solve it, which, if you're getting this cube, I sure as heck hope you know how to. Um, for the spring adjustment system, this is a, uh, this is the, uh, extra piece in case one of it breaks, which, again, it's nice that they have it in there, but that slightly worries me. I'm just making sure that there's nothing with that part in here. Okay, now... Okay, so what I am noticing is if I'm, I'm looking through here, so here's all the MoU cards. If you want to know how to solve it or for Facebook and stuff like that, yeah. All right. Um, I don't think this comes with any instructions on what the adjustment system is. So yeah, that's a tiny bit worrying. More of the stand part. Yeah. Set the accessories aside for now. And here we go. It's opened. Ooh, I can feel the ridges on it already. Um, definitely about the size of a Valk Power. It's my current main right now. It is a little bit bigger, but it's not uncomfortably bigger. Uh, yeah. So, what you saw on the bottom of this is two little plastic pieces which could be used as a cube stand maybe oh yeah those line up wow yeah science okay so enough of that if I can tensions right now are pretty nice they're quite tight um definitely not as loose as my main right now uh, let's pop off a center cap so I can show you the new system. So inside, I should have done this on white. Why did I do it on the thing that matches it? That's real smart. It's hard when you bite your fingernails. There we go. So this is what this is. Basically, this compresses the spring using 
this tool right here. Uh, let's see, where does it align? Like what? Oh, right here. Ooh, it twists. Wow, I, I've already seen just video on this cube. So yeah. So basically you can adjust how tight you want the springs. Complete individual of the uh, screws. So yeah. So I keep delaying it. Why am I? Um, let's get into first turns. Ooh, that is very dry out of the box. Uh, ooh, I... Mm. Not sure. I probably am going to lube this with some lunar. Uh, corner cutting. Uh, about 45. Reverse. That's very good. Yeah, I'm probably going to loosen the tensions quite a bit. Um, definitely way too dry. Um, but... I, I like it. The magnets, as you could uh, tell by the spare magnets, yeah, they stick to it. <laughs> um, they're quite strong. You may have heard that from some reviews already. Um, I definitely do not think that the ridges are that big of a deal. Um, they're not that noticeable, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to scroll this up. I'm going to do a solve on it. Definitely first intent or first um, impressions. It's quite a fast cube. It's about as fast as my Vulk 3 power, but it's not, or it's not as. I don't know if I want to say wet. It's it's drier, which isn't always a good thing. Even though I usually like sandy puzzles. So uh, let's do a solve. Oh yeah, boy, this is already. Pretty uncontrollable. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing good, totally. Yeah, plus no real inspection. Yeah, definitely uncontrollable. Um, and if this is what I have tightened, I'm kind of scared. Oh, wait, no, the springs are loosened. I'm dumb. Yeah, so. It, it's very, um... What do I want to say? It's very, not flimsy, uh, like, it's just malleable, almost. It's not stable, that's what I'm looking for. It's not at all stable. Um, so that's probably the only thing I can say bad about it. I probably will tension this and set it up and make a review on it later. But, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely way too tight. But, I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. Here's the mechanism. That is quite weird. Um, definitely different from my walk power. Yeah, here's the comparison. I hope you can tell which is which. This is the GTS 3. I should. I feel like I need to say. Uh, let's take a look at a corner. Quite a long stalk. It reminds me of the uh, of the Yushin Little Magic, which I sold. I don't have anymore. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of that, but I, I do think it's quite a nice cube. I'll probably will become my main, depending on how much I like it. Um, I'm definitely going to need to lube it up, though, because this is not that good at the moment. Um, yeah, the M slices aren't that good with how unstable it is. So... Yeah, um, maybe become my new main. I'll definitely post something on the Berwick Cubers Instagram. Go check that out. Um, if this is going to be my new main after setting it up to my liking. So, other than that, um, thank you all for watching this video. There's a link in the description to where you can buy or pre order, I'm not sure, where you can get this cube off of speedcubeshop.com. Um, speaking of which, they also have the GAN 354 available today. So, yeah. So, expect to see a review video on this within the week. Um, somehow got this to 10 minutes long. This has been Zach from Berwick Cubers. I would like to thank you all for watching. Um, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you actually find out when we do upload. 
which is eventually. Um, yep, like to thank you all for watching. Yada yada yada.